center of mass center of gravity difference between center of mass and center of gravity how do you find and calculate center of gravity and center of mass before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free now what is center of mass well let me give you an example consider a heavy box and a washing machine let the mass of this heavy box is 100 kg and the mass of this washing machine is 20 kg you may be surprised to listen that there is a single point in this box where total mass 100 kg of this box is concentrated or you can say that there is a single point in this box where total mass of 100 kg of this box appears. Consider that this point is X, where total mass of the box is concentrated. Similarly, there is also a single point in this washing machine where total mass of washing machine appears or is concentrated. Let this point is S. In physics, we call point X as a center of mass of this heavy box. Because the total mass of this heavy box appears or acts at this point X. So we therefore call it center of mass. Similarly, we call point S as a center of mass of this washing machine. Because the total mass of this washing machine appears or acts at this point. Thus we define center of mass as the point at which all the mass of an object is concentrated. Or you can say that center of mass is the point about which mass is equally distributed in all directions. Thus when you read or listen center of mass, think that it is the point where total mass of the body appears to act. Now the second important question you should learn is that how can we find center of mass of different objects? Well, the center of mass of homogeneous objects, their respective geometric centers. By homogeneous objects, I mean objects that have same composition throughout. For example, consider a clock. We know that the clock is made up of plastic. So it is homogeneous object. Secondly, we know that its geometric shape is circular. And we know that the geometric center of circle always lie at this point. Thus the center of mass of this clock is at this point. Secondly, consider a TV. We know that its geometric shape is square. Its geometric center is at this point. Hence, the center of mass of this TV is at this point. Thirdly, consider your iPad or your cell phone. We know that its geometrical shape is rectangular. Its geometrical center is at this point. Thus, the center of mass of your iPad is also at this point. Remember this bonus tip that the center of mass of right circular cylinder and cone is on the axis of symmetry. Let me repeat this important point. The center of mass of right circular cylinder and cone is on the axis of symmetry. Also remember that center of mass may or may not lie inside the object. For example, consider a banana. The center of mass of the banana is outside at this position are at this point. Secondly, center of mass may change its location or position depending upon the orientation of the object. For example, when you stretch your leg, the center of mass is at this point. While when you bend your leg, the center of mass at this point. I mean outside the body. Therefore, note it down that center of mass may or may not lie inside the object. Now let me teach you that what is center of gravity. Well, 
center of gravity is the point where whole weight of the body appears to act. We know that weight is the force between any object and the earth. Every object falls towards the earth center due to its weight. For example, consider two cases. In case 1, you place football right above your finger, while in second case, you slightly misplaced football above your finger. Now the downward force of the earth acts on both the footballs. In case 1, the football doesn't fall, while in the second case, the football falls down. Can you guess the reason? Well, in the first case, center of gravity of the football is above your finger. If the earth force or weight pulls it with 10 Newton force, then center of gravity of the football being on your finger, your hand pushes the football in upward direction with 10 Newton force. Thus, 10 Newton downward force and 10 Newton upward force cancel out each other and football doesn't fall in downward direction. Secondly, in this case, the center of gravity of the football is out of your finger. When weight pulls it with 10 Newton force in downward direction, it therefore starts falling down. Thus, from this example, we learn that center of gravity is the point where whole weight of the body appears to act. Now, what is the difference between center of mass and center of gravity? Well, there is only one difference between center of mass and center of gravity. In most cases, center of gravity for any object is the same as its center of mass. In uniform gravitational field, center of gravity for any object is the same as its center of mass. By uniform gravitational field, I mean near the earth surface. For example, let the center of mass of the circular disk is at this point. Now the center of gravity of this disk is also at this point. The only difference between them is that center of mass and center of gravity will appear to act on different positions or points within object in non-uniform gravitational field. By non-uniform gravitational field, I mean far away from the earth surface. For example, on the earth, center of mass and center of gravity of your cell phone or iPad would be at the same point. When you go to the space, then center of mass and center of gravity of your cell phone will no longer be at one point or at single point. Thus remember this only difference between center of mass and center of gravity. Now you should also learn that how can we find the center of mass and center of gravity of irregular objects or three-dimensional objects. The most common way to determine or to find center of mass and center of gravity of any irregular or three-dimensional object is to hang it randomly from at least three different points. For example, consider a bicycle and hang it against any wall using hooks. Let the bicycle swing freely for some time. Then either draw a straight line or use a spring. Secondly, hang it from another point and draw a straight line or again use a string. Finally, again hang it from another point and draw a line. Now the point of intersection of all these three plumb lines is the bicycle's center of gravity. This point is also the object's center of mass. Thus by this method, we can find the center of mass and center of gravity of any irregular or three-dimensional objects. Finally, let me teach you that how can you calculate center of mass. Find center of mass if 10 kg object is placed at origin and 20 kg object is placed at x is equal to 3. Well, 
इट इज वेरी सिंपल लेट मी ड्रॉ अ फ्री हैंड डायग्राम लेट द मास एम वन इज इक्वल टू टेन के जी प्रेजेंट हेयर वी नो दैट इट इज प्लेस्ड इट ओरिजिन हेंस इट्स डिस्टेंस और लेंथ इज एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीटर सेकेंडली द इन अदर मास इज एम टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी के जी एंड इट इज प्लेस्ड इट एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री मीटर ऑन हॉरिजोंटल लाइन आर एक्स एक्सेज नो द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग सेंटर ऑफ मास इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड टू इट्स लेंथ फ्रॉम ओरिजिन प्लस मास ऑफ द सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्ट एंड टू इट्स लेंथ फ्रॉम ओरिजिन डिवाइडेड बाई द सम ऑफ मास इज ऑफ टोटल ऑब्जेक्ट द सेंटर ऑफ मास इज एम वन इज इक्वल टू टेन के जी एंड टू एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीटर प्लस एम टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी के जी एंड टू एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री मीटर डिवाइडेड बाई मास इज टेन के जी प्लस ट्वेंटी के जी एज ए रिजल्ट I get center of mass is equal to 60 upon 30 is equal to 2. Thus, the center of mass is a 2 meter from origin on horizontal line R x-axis. By this way, we can calculate center of mass and center of gravity of different objects. This was all about center of mass and center of gravity.